We're in the middle of a summer that is chock full of blockbusters. We've already seen the Avengers open to $200 million. Men in Black is turning out to be a nice little hit. We're gonna have The Dark Knight and Spider-Man. So many big films, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Prometheus is from Fox, and it is likely a prequel to the film Alien. We're Forbes, so we can look at it from a box office point of view. Now, the film is expected to earn as much as $57 million this weekend, according to Exhibitor Relations. That would be a great opening. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's especially great for an R movie, which obviously has a huge segment of the population that can't go. It's obviously not the Avengers territory, and for better or worse, the Avengers may have set a new benchmark for summer blockbusters, one that is almost dangerously high, I would argue. Not many films will be able to live up to that. A $100 million opening is amazing. $200 million is through the stratosphere. We won't see that very much. At $57 million, Prometheus is going to need a lot of great word of mouth and what they call in the industry legs to become really profitable. It's already doing pretty well overseas. It opened early overseas, as many movies are now. It has a very international cast. It stars Nomi Rapace, who is best known for her work in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. She's Swedish, in the Swedish version of the film. She's the star. Michael Fassbender is from Great Britain. Having those kinds of stars in the film will help it overseas. Plus, it's, it's, it's an appealing genre. The film has been shrouded in a lot of secrecy. So we know that it's about people who go to another planet and that there are aliens involved and maybe the origin of mankind and a very handsome robot named David played by Michael Fassbender. They've been very intentional in keeping a lot of the details under wraps in order to build a lot of fan excitement. It's worked really wonderfully. The hype for this movie has been extreme. Fox has had one of the best marketing campaigns I've ever seen for this movie. They've come out with some very creative bits that are enough to really whet fans' appetites and bring in people who maybe are not familiar with the Alien movies. So, for example, there was a TED Talk from the future. Now, most people are familiar with the TED Talks. They are these lectures about interesting topics, and they're always really wonderful. This one was Guy Pearce as the head of Wayland Industries, which is a company that doesn't exist, of course, talking about mankind and our future, and it's supposed to be from 2023, is very intriguing. We are now three months into the year of our Lord, 2023. At this moment in our civilization, we can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. Then we had what looked like a corporate video about a new kind of robot called David, who's played by Michael Fassbender, and that David is willing to do things that humans won't do, and that he can even cry, although he doesn't actually experience emotions. It was a very well done bit. There's a website for Whalen Industries which you can explore, and things about this Prometheus ship. A lot of intrigue and mystery, and just enough detail to get people really excited. It'll be interesting to see how this movie does. It looks like a very high quality movie. The reviews have been pretty good. It's going to run up against other movies very quickly, though. We're going to have Spider-Man soon. We're going to have The Dark Knight soon. It's, it's a crowded summer. It always is. But Prometheus looks like a film to watch.